Okay, this is a quick video on how to make a Zoom meeting appear on two screens. Say you have set up in your classroom uh, a laptop MacBook or MacBook Air and you've hooked that up already to your big screen in your room with your uh, overhead projector. Now you want to have it so you can see your students on the big screen while you're teaching from your laptop main screen. So here's how that works. Number one, you need to go to your system preferences which are going to be found under the Apple. Click on system preferences. Uh, I will be doing a PC version of this in my next video so stay tuned for that. Uh, go ahead and click on uh, sound. Make sure that your uh, USB audio camera is selected as your input device. Uh, then go back and you want to go to displays. Uh, you'll note that everything is being mirrored. So right now you can't see it on my big screen. Uh, everything is being displayed that's on my uh, main screen on my laptop is also being mirrored exactly on my big screen in my classroom. So uh, I will insert a video to show and prove the difference uh, with my standalone camera in just a second. So uncheck the mirror display and what will happen is it'll create two separate desktops for you. One's going to be an extended desktop on the big screen and then you'll still have your main screen which you're looking at with me here. And so in order for this to work right and you've entered a Zoom meeting, you're going to have to make a, a couple changes to some settings in your Zoom for this to work. Okay, so the first place you're going to look is you're going to go to the uh, video settings. Make sure you've chosen the correct camera. Uh, if you are a teacher in HBUHSD, then you received this HD 1080p camera. Select that and make sure that you're uh, going to the video settings menu after you're done selecting that camera. Uh, this might be turned off, so enable HD. Since you have an HD camera, enable it. So make sure that's checked off. And you want to mirror your video. Uh, you want to also make sure the following uh, items are checked on. The spotlight my video and speaking and this is going to be super handy. Display up to 49 participants per screen in gallery view. So this is going to give you your say 25 to 30 students that are that are set up in your class all on one big screen when we're done with this. So next, just make sure that you're clicking on the general setting that says use dual monitors up at the top. And when I click that, what ended up happening is now I have a new display on my second desktop and it automatically put it on there for me. So again, I will prove that this is working properly with my standalone camera and a separate inserted video so you can see what it looks like from my perspective. Okay, so close that general tab. Let's see if there's anything else that you need here. Uh, no, that's it. So close this and you're in good shape. What I would recommend is that you take the uh, Zoom meeting and drag that over to your other desktop so you can rearrange the chat function in the participants menu and keep that on your secondary desktop which is going to be your big screen overhead projector in the room. So on the top of your uh, Zoom meeting screen in order to move this over you're going to move it to the right so grab the gray bar at the top push down on your mouse and drag this over. Bye. I'm going to be here but I'm on another screen so I'll show you what that looks like when this is done. Okay. And when I hit share screen on the other I'm going to be sharing this desktop and I go to Everify student registration and right here I'm going to be presenting this material to my students. 
but I can also still share my screen and see my participants at the same time. So I will show you what I'm looking at and it's working correctly. So the other, other things that you'll want to do is uh, I'll, sh I'll also show how to uh, set up the, uh, the chat and the participants list on that big screen as well. So under, I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to go back to uh, the participants window. And I want to pop that out. Oh, let me pull this back over so you can see how that would work on, this, on one screen. So if this was the, the big screen at the front of the room, then I can click on that little carrot and pop out the participants menu and I can also pop out the chat and move this to the other desktop that I want. So that way I can still monitor the chat on the big screen and also monitor the, the participants list in the corner. And this window is going to be the main control area and I'm going to move that over onto the big screen. There we go. So now you have everything you need to get started with your Zooms and you can present your information and never lose sight of your students. That's it. So this is a quick insert on how to make sure that your dual monitor Zoom setup is working properly. You'll note that I have my uh, installed webcam at the top of my monitor. My main monitor is on my desk. Uh, it happens to be a MacBook Pro, but this could be also your uh, main desktop computer. And so here's how this works. Let me set this up while I do this. So you can see that I'm in a meeting with uh, one other participant and I have this on my big screen as well. So. When you are moving windows around, you can take these windows and move them right to left to put them back on your other. You'll see this is the same uh, window that I was moving. You have to grab that from the top of the, uh, you can see my cursor, it's right there. Grab that from the top of the gray bar to move that over to the big screen. And now that's on the big screen. So you want your main control panel to be on your big screen in order for this to work. Then you're going to uh, pop out a couple of windows here to make this work correctly. Again, how you do that, if I can zoom in on this section of the screen to see this, you will click on the drop down carrot that's at the very top of the participant window and it's going to say pop out. So pop it out and it pops that out to another spot on this window. And you want to do the same with your chat. So I want to pop that out as well with that down carrot, pop it out. And now you got two windows and you'll be able to maximize then the space of this other window to fit as many students as you want to. If you don't want to have the participants list on there, or the chat at that time, you can always X that out, okay? And you can close those windows. So keep that in mind. You can also resize these. So that's about as small as this gets right now. And then uh, you can resize the other one because I want to make this other window as big as possible so I can see as many participants on the screen at once. And then I can expand the size of this window down here and it'll be nice and large. Okay, so I've got two participants in this, in this window and you can see that. So when I hit the share screen button right here and I wanna share my desktop, and I click on desktop, that's gonna share my main desktop number one. And I hit the share button in the bottom corner I'm still going to be left with this large zoom window 
Uh, I might need to do some resizing just to make sure I don't lose sight of some of the students. And there you have it. So you resize that window and it's all nice and big. So let me back up so you can see what I see here. And I'm also sharing this screen with my slides so I can then go to uh, presentation mode and hit present. And they will see a full screen version of this on their screen. Here is what the participants would see on their end. They're going to see my full screen of my slides that I'm showing them or whatever content is on my desktop and a small version of me. So if I back up in front of this camera, that's, that's my hand waving so you can kind of see what's going on. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions, put them in the comment below.